Hello and welcome to another video of this Power BI Do It Yourself tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create an app workspace. So let's see how to create it. Go back to the Power BI cloud service and go to the workspaces. You would see by default there is my workspace and you can create an app workspace. Please note that the app workspace is only possible if you have a pro version. A free version will only have my workspace as an option. Now, you can create an app workspace by just clicking on this. And this is your workspace. I would say my or DDCS workspace. Now, you would have the workspace. This is a workspace ID. And then you can make it as a public or a private workspace just keep it private and then what can members do so I would say members can only view Power BI content and then you can add members from here you can also have it as a dedicated capacity on the planning purposes so I'm not going to talk about this at this point in time but you can add members so for now I just have one email address so I can add it but it's not a member it he is an admin so you can mention the role as admin and member please note that this is the security the access level security which I was talking about in the previous video so the access level security which is applied at the workspace or an app level so that's the security I was talking about coming back so I'm gonna say save and you can see that a workspace is created known as BDCS workspace and you can see that it's it's empty you can uh, publish the workspace now uh, in you if you see this in this workspace there is nothing obviously now um, here you go back uh, to the Power BI desktop. If I now click on publish, it'll ask me to select a workspace. See, I just created the BDCS workspace. I select the BDCS, say select, and it's gonna publish onto the new workspace. So think about workspace as an environment. So when you, do, when you are doing a project, a real-time project, you would actually create a a workspace for development, a workspace for production, and then you provide appropriate access based on who, who needs what. So now you refresh here, you would see that you will have the data published in the BDCS workspace. So the reports and the data set, please note that you have not created the data dashboards yet. So if you go to reports, this is the same. Now, once you have created a workspace there will be an option to publish the app click on publish app you can enter a summary a summary my BDCS app you can set the background color so I want to set this or this color and then or maybe make it more soother right and then go to content you can pick and choose specific content because there is just one content for me I can choose that or I say none that means all contents would be published so specific content or none and then you can provide access here as well so there are two accesses one is the access at a workspace level and then the second access is at an app level so you want to do individual groups or to the entire organization and say finish so it says that when you publish an app that has large distribution, obviously we don't have a large distribution, it might take a little while to process. Typically the content would be available within five to 10 minutes. But you know, for me, it's not a big organization, just one. And then you see that it gives you an, a link which you can open for app. So I would say go to app. And there you go, right? I mean. It's installing the app you would see an app over here now please remember that had it been another member in my organization 
there would have been another like in the shared with me portion you will have the apps so there is no shared with me nobody has shared with me any app it's just my I, my app which we have published this is available here and therefore you can click on the app and that's how you do a project by creating an app now let's do some hands-on so while creating a workspace you can set visibility and the access levels and once the workspace is created you can publish the app please note that this is only possible in the pro time for a hands-on so hands-on exercise number 38 create an app workspace as shown in the video and then publish the app so this is what you're gonna do just give any name to the app and that will be fine thank you for watching